Hi, I'm Tom Baxter, personal trainer, and we'll be showing you today, continuing on our TRX uh, high intensity interval trainings. The focus is lower body explosive power, so really targeted more towards your athletic, uh, explosive, fast twitch muscle fibers. There's loads of different ways you could do this. Depending on your level of intensity, you may wanna do it time-based, so say 30 seconds per leg, um, or you could even have it on a repetition count, depending on what your focus is. If it's pre-season, kind of more higher, higher repetitions, maybe lower load, and if you're looking for more strength gains and keep that load, sorry, increase that load and then keep the repetitions lower. So, because some of these, as I've said, are unilateral, we wanna show you how to set this TRX system up. You're gonna pass that uh, one handle straight through the V shape and then back through on itself, so twice, and then that should create a nice solid V shape with the uh, one strap. So one foot's in the strap now, and we wanna be going with our TRX lunge with an explosive jump on this. So really making sure that you're jumping to your level, your ability, um, always maintaining tension in that back foot, as you would with a lunge, taking that hip back, and then on the drive up, you wanna leave the ground and really make a nice big powerful knee tuck up in the air, landing soft and straight back into the next repetition. Now the next one, we've got hands in the straps and we're gonna have one leg on the ground. We're working our overhead single-legged squat. A down and back, engaging through the lower trapezius and the rhomboids, keeping the hands up, our arms nice and straight. And when we drop down into our squat, we're maintaining the foot flat on the ground and taking the hips back and down to your range of motion, your comfort. I'm thinking about all Hands on the straps, we're now doing explosive, either some people call these skaters. Uh, uh, you might be looking at more like a, a unilateral uh, explosive jump side by side. So with this exercise, be light on the hands with the straps. We want to make sure that we're keeping the knee stacked in line with the, with the toe, which you can see as I perform this. Lastly, we're gonna go with one foot in the strap. You can see I'm now set up 90 degrees onto the rig. So turning yourself side on with one leg rested in. We're gonna be really challenging our adductors and slightly the, the hamstrings and the glutes with this one. So we're making sure as I go down, that leg is taking, uh, my body's gonna be moving away, but I'm making sure I'm keeping my weight distributed evenly over that standing leg. So again, keeping knee aligned with say second, third toe, and just dropping down to my comfort, my range of motion. For me, that's around 90 degrees at that hip. Some of you athletes may even be able to go a little lower with that. All right, awesome. I hope you're feeling a good burn on those legs. I know I was through this one. Um, making sure for each of you that you're giving yourself enough rest and keep that focus towards your sport and your focus and the time of season. And I'd recommend going through uh, those four exercises, both sides of the body, at least two to four times. Giving yourself about two minute rest uh, between each exercise. You can hit both legs back to back, that's how I did it. 